One of the software tools that's included free with the system is the recordings interface. And uh, this uh, gives you a lot of function. You're able to see your voicemail as well as your call logs. And let me show you here. Uh, to get to this interface on your phone system, you basically type into your browser window the IP address of your phone system, which you could get from your administrator. Mine is 10.1.10.210 forward slash recordings. So if you don't want to type that all the time, you can make that a shortcut. But you hit that, and it'll come up with this login screen here. And what do I need for a login and a password? Well, I need my extension number, which I have here is uh, 8572, and my password, which we set up on all of our systems as default, which is 100. So I log in, and I'm presented with some things here. Uh, I have you know, my username and extension here. But then I also have uh, voicemail, which shows me this list of views. And then I see uh, a call monitor, which gives me a complete list of the calls that I have uh, either received or made or made to voicemail or whatever. Um, some tools here you're able to use. If you select one, you could delete it. Uh, you could uh, move it to a particular folder if you'd like to. Uh, you could forward it to another user on the system, which is some good function. Or you could email it to an email address here, which is kind of neat. If I want to play it back through my PC speakers, I'd click play here and a little play window will pop up. If I'd like to ring my phone and listen to it there, I would click that button there. And if I'd like to download it and save it for later, I just click on this here and it comes up with a download window and I could save it as normal. On my call monitor tab, I could see my list of calls and I could also search them. So I'm not sure if I have any valid uh, data here, but let's see if we do. Let's see, a search. So I found basically the folks that have called that started with 630-670. So if you know you got a call from somebody or somebody claimed that they gave you a call at a certain time, you're able to go through and you're able to uh, see if they in fact called you when they said that they did. Uh, and it shows all your calls. Uh, so this list could get quite lengthy over time. And it gives you some information too. Some of it may not make sense, but obviously date and time, caller ID is whatever is the incoming caller ID. Source is... A variety of things but most often when you get calls from the outside it's going to be an actual phone number uh, destination is who it was called to so if you see um, a call to uh, 8572 or 8571 here these were internal extensions that we dialed uh, these calls here are calls to the outside world and then how long was it uh, under monitor here if you decided to uh, record your call it would show up as being recorded uh, right in that blank right there